Ghost Rose. I got my orange on today. It's going to be a good day, Brandon. I'm feeling it. I yes. feel it too. Right. And it's a beautiful weather day again. Hot again for Hottober, as we're calling it, with temperatures in the low 90s right around first pitch, rising into the mid 90s in the afternoon. It's not too humid quite yet, but it's definitely going to be another warm day here in Southeast Texas. The humidity, though, it's going to go up as we go into the weekend, but thankfully it is paired with an increasing rain chance for one day in particular, and that is on Saturday. We could see some uh, scattered showers and thunderstorms rolling into southeast Texas, moving in from the Gulf as we continue to keep a close eye on the Gulf Coast. But then on the bookends of Saturday, Friday and Sunday have a 20 percent chance for specifically some coastal showers as well. So let's talk about what's happening in the tropics as we head into a brand new month. Still very active with just in now potential storm 13 developing near the Cabo Verde Islands. Again, this is in the deep tropics, hundreds of miles away from the southeast Texas coast, but something we're keeping a close eye on, as well as Kirk, now forecast to become a major hurricane this weekend, but thankfully will be spinning away in the Atlantic Ocean, where we'd like to keep hurricanes this time of year. Closer to home, though, we still have to keep a close eye on what is happening in the Gulf of Mexico right now. You can see some unorganized shower and thunderstorm development. We'll likely see a broad area of low pressure continue to dominate this region, which will bring in that opportunity for some rain this weekend. In the short term, though, this high pressure has been keeping the forecast very dry this week and will con continue to do so through Friday. But as this high moves towards the panhandle, it opens the door for that area of low pressure to develop. Again, this isn't a guarantee that we'll see anything tropical, but this area of low pressure will spin up some rounds of rain across the Gulf Coast beginning on Friday. Saturday is our day for some rain in southeast Texas, but the main story is going to be the heavy rain that could fall in the eastern Gulf, and you see that here on this rainfall map. A lot of rain headed towards Florida this week, potentially the Panhandle, as well as portions of Mississippi, Alabama, and coastal Louisiana as well. Back here at home, it's the coastline that has the best chance of getting some rain since this is a coastal weather system. But I'm not going to rule out some heavier showers and thunderstorms that tried to lift a little farther north along I-10 or even north of that on Saturday. And that's our best chance for rain we have in the next 10 days, and we really do need it. Meanwhile, we've been enjoying this beautiful weather. Yes, it's pretty warm. Temperatures right now already in the upper 80s. And don't really have to factor in a heat index, which is nice because the humidity is still pretty manageable for this time of year. Closer to the coast in Galveston right now, 86 degrees. Water temperatures, though, rebounded back in the low 80s for this time of year. As for your 10-day forecast, just be aware again with this weather pattern still very stagnant, lingering overhead. We have ozone pollution potentially for today and tomorrow. Rain chances increase into the weekend. Saturday is our best day, best chance to get any rain here in Houston. And we'll need it because after that, we're staying warm and dry as we head into the middle of the month. And we'll be right back after this break.